look gorgeous. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm Ramon, not Terry. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm sorry, my coffee hasn't kicked in. Hi, Ramon. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. Kind of a wet start to the to the morning. Um, yeah, some good wind last night as well, kicking up. Yeah. It's always warm. It looks like every time when we schedule a meeting, you know, there's a rainstorm or a snowstorm or, or something that, you know, makes it very precarious, you know, that if you're going to have a meeting or not, you know, the, the you know, lights going up in and out, stuff like that. Yeah. So, but... Well, we are lucky. I like it, Cornwall CDR 2.0. Yeah, I thought that was a good name to kind of describe the project because it really is kind of that next generation of things. Yeah. Did you, did you have any luck putting up the uh, next gen gallery yet? Yes, I'm still working on that. I had implemented the plugin, but I was working, I, I hit a couple of scripting kind of conflicts or something, or mm -hmm. I just, what I want to do is I want to take, take the site and spin off a staging environment just so I can um, get in there a little bit more and play around with the configuration. Mm -hmm. Cause I think we can, we can definitely get it up and running. It's just a matter of the, just kind of sorting through a couple odds and ends with it. But I have been working on that and I think it's a great idea to really enhance the galleries with the new site. Yeah. Is that conflicting plugins or? Yeah, I was seeing some behavior that looked a little bit buggy on the back end of the site, and I was, but I still got to do a little bit more kind of troubleshooting with it to better determine what what might be kind of going going on there. Right. But it seems like the plugin works and the rest of the site works just fine. So um, I feel pretty confident we'll be able to get that up and running. It's just going to take a little bit, a little bit more time just to play around with the configuration and things mm -hmm. like that. Same. So it All looks right. like I think we got we got enough people right now. We got eleven people. So in case you want to get started. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. So um uh, thanks for your time today, everyone. So the objective today was just to kind of go through some things with the, with the new site, provide a demo, and do a full question and answer section um, to get feedback and everything like that. So we'll get things uh, kicked off here. All right. Looks like somebody might have a TV on in the background. So if they could just mute, uh, mute their mic, I think that would be uh, good. Okay, so first off, I just wanted to say thank you. You know, this has been the culmination of two hard years of, you know, years of hard work. Thank you. Oh yeah. yeah, it was it was a, it was a fun project, and I really enjoyed it. And it really was two years of hard work to make this happen. It's really taken the hands, the hearts, and the minds of our committee, of our town, and the larger community, which is really the spirit of Cornwall and, and what makes Cornwall so great. Um, technology is really changing the relationship between people, towns, and social structures in general. Um, you know, this project was particularly uh, timely and relevant in the face of the pandemic, where most things, you know, were that could go virtual did, and towns like us really needed to pivot, connect, and effectively communicate, you know, in this digital space. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for all the great feedback that we've received as well along the way. It's really helped us continue to refine and improve the site as well. Um, a special thanks to Laszlo for his photography, which really brings this site to, uh, alive. And it really tells the story of Cornwall in ways that words can't always, you know, effectively articulate. Um, it was a very successful launch campaign, given the quality of the end product. And we received some great press and accolades from, you know, not only across the state, but from neighbors just down the road as well. Um, so with the launch, uh, we had over 2,000 visitors the first week of the launch, um, which is about four or five times our normal traffic volume. So we, we clearly had a very successful um, la launch campaign and we're very grateful for everyone that um, helped make it happen. Now today, 
I wanted to just provide a little bit more background about our group and committee and kind of what we do. I wanted to go over just a quick project um, summary, and then I wanted to jump right into the live demo um, and answer any questions along the way. And we can also have uh, like a question and answer session at the end of this too, if you want to save your questions or, or feedback as well. Um, so yeah, the Cornwall Web Committee. So our website, cornwallct.org, is a fusion between the town and the local community. community. You know, which I've said in the past, it's a very Cornwall thing. Um, Cornwall is a, is, a, is a great town and we do things sometimes a little bit different than, than other towns. And it really is what makes us special and unique in a lot of ways. And our mission as a committee is really to create a vibrant uh, digital presence for the town that we all love. And that's really what we're focused on. Um, our committee is an offshoot of the Cornwall Association who played a pivotal role in getting our group in the vision of the Cornwall web itself kind of off the ground for our town. And we now operate as an autonomous community based group, I guess is probably the best way to describe it, um, which is great. Uh, we're always looking for new local talent um, or talent in general to join our group as well. Um, and you can learn more about our group and committee by going to this uh, link below here um, that's also published on the new website. Um, in terms of the project vision and the goals, the vision was really to build the best town website in the state, kind of this place where the civic, the community, and the visitors websites are all combined for a unified and consistent experience across all of these key channels. It's really the idea of one place to stay connected in Cornwall. Um, you know, we had a number of goals also for the for the new site as well, like telling the story of Cornwall, you know, our people, um, you know, and our rich culture that we have in our lands. Mm. We, we also wanted to better market the town um, as well in this increasingly digital age that we find ourselves in, while continuing to provide useful service um, to our town and the local community as well. So the scope of the project overall was quite large, you know, as there was a lot to migrate over um, from the old site. We've added a lot of new features, pages and content as well, including a full blown uh, kind of visitors portal as well for um, for people that are new to town or, or want to learn more about Cornwall. Um, you know, the, it also involved redesigning and replatforming the existing site um, to the WordPress CMS, which stands for Content Management System. And it's really about, the project was really about building a strong foundation in, in the future and also a community engagement platform, you know, in the site as well, which is also key, especially in this day and age. Just a little bit about WordPress here. You know, it's an open source website creation platform that's written in PHP and uses a MySQL database and non-geek. It's probably the easiest and most powerful blogging and website content management system out there today. You know, this is what um, a lot of the big Fortune 500 companies use. This is the type of platform uh, press and media companies use and people just looking to build very um, extensible, you know, ineffective websites. You know, WordPress as a platform has a lot of <laughs> benefits, everything from the usability of it to the simplicity, but also the power and the extensibility of, of a solution like this. You know, if you can think up something um, that you want to add to the site, like a feature, chances are you can utilize a plugin, uh, which is a piece of software, to be able to uh, add that functionality uh, quite easily in a site like this, which makes it very, again, extensible and powerful solution, and also just the ability when it comes to being able to customize things the way that you want. Um, so that's WordPress. Um, any questions before I jump into the into the demo? The live demo is going to be kind of more of the, the main event um, here. And if you have any questions or anything comes up while I'm giving the demo, feel free to, um, to, to, to just stop me and I'd be happy to answer them. Or we can also um, talk through any questions or feedback at the end um, of the demo as well. Hey, Rocco, I have a question. Sure. Uh, the screen I'm seeing has your, it, it, it's not in the full slide presentation screen. It's got the, uh, around the left side, it's got all the slides listed, you know, the PowerPoint. Can you oh, check, okay. Can you yeah, that? thanks for mentioning that, Dick. You know what I think it is, is I accidentally started the PowerPoint in uh, presentation mode right, instead right. of the presentation. So right. yeah, sorry about that. And uh, fortunately our, 
uh, I think our slides are over. So, all right. So, uh, welcome to the new website. Let me just uh, reload it here. And so we'll first be going over some of the key uh, aspects of the homepage, which is, you know, clearly an important um, part of the site. So up here at the top, this is kind of a great spot where we have different kind of town-wide alerts and things like that going on. So if you want to get, for instance, the latest COVID-19 update from our Board of Selectmen, you know, you can click on this and we'll bring you uh, right to the right uh, to the latest update on that, which is really key, especially right now. Um, we are also working on a new weather feature where that's also kind of in beta because there are a lot of people that do like to kind of start their mornings at the site. So we thought of like having a, a feature here where we could show, you know, a few day forecast with the local uh, weather. We're working to continue to en enhance this, but it weather is underground. Yes, Sorry. we've talked about different solutions for it and different ways we could implement it. So again, this is still in beta, but a cool feature we're working on to be able to provide weather for the site. Um, as you'll see, you know, the homepage is going to have a big lead in welcoming people to Cornwall. Any great images that we have, especially ones that kind of reach epic proportions, uh, we would post here on our kind of main slider, which will kind of um, slide through every few seconds some of the different images we post here, which is similar to the old site, you know, where we really like to feature a lot of key um, uh, feature, or a lot of key uh, photographers um, that have posted pictures. We're going to talk about Cornwall here and why it matters and give you the opportunity to read more about our town. Um, you know, over here, we've got some great sections where we feature different things like, for instance, the event here today, our website training. You know, we would have a banner right there that would bring you to the link in the Zoom meeting for that, uh, which is great. Um, We've also got really cool featured things we can do with this site, like the Bears of Cornwall, you know, which is just a cool featured section that will show, you know, different uh, pictures, for instance, of that local photographers have submitted to us over the years of, you know, Bears, which is, you know, really cool. Um, Laszlo's taken some of these amazing ones like this one right here. Um, yeah, so we can do really fun stuff like that on the site. Um, also here, you'll see over here on the right, um, this is kind of the town information slider with the ability to go see more town news. So this will basically show you all the latest postings um, on behalf of the town and the civic portion of the website. Like the latest here being um, a vaccination information um, that was put out by the town, which has some key updates in regards to that. You can also slide through here. You can see the latest apart together, which is the COVID-19 um, townwide update um, that's been it's actually the 40th volume uh, or edition of this, which is really neat. Um, also too, any kind of uh, key town meetings um, that Richard uh, records on YouTube um, will also get posted here. So you can see here's the latest planning and zoning committee meeting that was on the 13th, uh, the septic committee meeting. So we can post all that type of stuff. I'll be getting in more into the civic portion of the website in just a minute, but just to give you a quick um, idea, this is a great place to quickly find town information. Find if you're new to Cornwall, um, we've got a great call to action here to meet some of the locals and to explore Cornwall, which is a great section that talks about, you know, exploring our town. Um, underneath here, you can see Cornwall Community News. So this would be any of the latest news posted um, on the community portion of the website. You know, everything from like um, library events and like the screening of the Merrill sure. Street movie to um, Cornwall, uh, to pre the press release. Um, to, you know, free internet um, for students of uh, public school. So, you know, any kind of uh, key community news gets posted here. Uh, and you can click into these and, you know, read the full article and everything like that. Um, next, we have a section here for upcoming events where we'll show, you know, the, the, uh, the most recent events that are coming up, like, um, you know, uh, selectmen's meetings, um, different um, events. Uh, one really, and you can also go over here and view the Cornwall calendar if you want to see this in more of a calendar view as well, which can be really handy, which I'll show in a minute. You can all, another great feature of this new site is you can actually, as a person in the community, you can actually submit um, your event. Um, so how this works is you um, click submit your event. Um, you'll find it's pretty straightforward. You add the title, the description, when the event is. Um, you can uh, upload an image. Uh, organizers, even a cost if it's a fundraiser or something like that. 
Uh, just bear in mind any information you submit will be held in accordance to our privacy policy as you would expect. And so this is a great feature and how it works is uh, when this event gets submitted uh, by someone in the community, it will then go into the back end of the site where we would click, quickly review it and approve it. And then it would hit uh, prime time on the site. So great feature, um, really seeking to get more community engagement, you know, with events and, and making it easy to be able to um, upload events and things like that. We've also got our beautiful Cornwall section. We have, we've had a lot of great photographers over the years um, send us images, and this is another place where we um, post them as well. So you can see, here's been some recent ones. You can click here and go to the Cornwall gallery itself. And um, uh, Laszlo and I have actually been working on a new little project with this to continue to enhance this. But um, as you can see, we talk about, um, we talk about it. Uh, we give you the opportunity to be able to submit your own um, images of Cornwall. Um, you can upload them and, we'll, and that will send us an email where we can post them. We've got some great, we've got over six or 700 over the years, which is really cool. As you can see, we've even have a uh, hall of fame as well of some of our top contributors um, over the years, which is really cool um, as well, so. Uh, that's that. Um, going down the home page now, um, you can also see we've got a great um, quote here and an image that really um, encapsulates Cornwall very well. Um, now we're getting down to the footer of the website. And so the footer of the website would be shared across all pages of the website. And it's just a great kind of place to, to get um, information. Like here's a, an events calendar here where you can click and you can see the different events going on and click into the event and read more. We've got the latest town news updates, uh, community news. And then we also have what's called an RSS feed from the Cornwall Community Network on Groups.io. So you can um, see what's been posted there uh, recently and go read uh, over there. Um, in the bottom of the footer here, we've also got the, um, the covered bridge to go explore a page that we built, which is really cool. Uh, we talk about considering Cornwall as a great place to live and give you the opportunity uh, to learn more. We also talk about our committee and you can learn more about us here. And we also give the opportunity um, to be able to, we link to, um, to the town of, town of Cornwall e-newsletter, which is a great place to, you know, um, a great thing to sign up for to stay informed with key updates um, from officials and our selectmen in town as well. Um, down here in the, uh, in the deep footer here, we have our privacy policy, cookie policy, um, things like that. Uh, if you have any privacy concerns, uh, we, we do ask that you read our um, privacy policy. Um, it's very clear about what information we collect, what information we don't collect. Um, we do use basic cookies um, that provide site functionality um, and things like that. And we also have Google Analytics set up as well. So um, feel free to check that out. Okay, so now we've gone over the homepage. I'm gonna drill into each kind of section of the website here. We've laid this out to try to be as intuitive as possible. Like for instance, government is kind of all of the town and, and government uh, civic portion of the website. You've got community, which really encompasses the community. Exploring, which is about visiting and exploring Cornwall. We have pages um, about history and culture, business, and then how do I? So we'll start. Yep. Do you have a question? Okay. So we'll start here with the town news and notices, which is under the government section. This is a great place to to get kind of all the latest happenings in town in terms of the, in terms of the civic portion and the town portion of the website. So you can see here, um, we've got a great slider here, so you can see the latest town news and notices. Um, so say I wanted to read the latest, um, you know, COVID-19 update from the town. You can click on this and you'll see, um, basically see the, um, the update right there. Um, we've also got recent town meetings as well. So any of the videos that Richard takes, uh, we upload those and we embed them on YouTube to make it really easy. So you can actually watch them right from the website. So here is the latest uh, septic committee website uh, meeting right here. So, you know, this is a great YouTube link and you can actually play it right from in here because it's embedded right on the site. Um, we also have the button right here to see all the video archives that will go right over to the YouTube page, which has, you know, all of the archives of the videos as well. 
Um, we also will post um, recent minutes and agendas as well. Uh, we have a separate page for this, but it's just a handy spot to be able to kind of see what some of the latest minutes um, and agendas were on the town side. And we also give the ability to be able to go to the minutes and agendas page to see them all as well. Um, next, we've got town leadership. Now this page is really focused on talking about our town leadership and how you know our board of selectmen is the executive arm of our town government and how this is quite common in small New England uh, towns like ours. We'll give some of the key contact information, we'll list the selectmen, and we've even actually built a page about some of our federal, regional, and state uh, reps as well, which is a really cool one. So, you know, we'll show the, the governor, we'll show um, like um, different, uh, senators um, and things like that, our state rep. Um, we'll show all that there as well. So that was a really kind of cool thing to, to build into that. Um, we also have a boards in our town offices and officials. Now this is a great place to kind of get all the key information you need about some of the different town office contacts and officials here. So um, we'll also have like key alerts like the fact that the town hall is closed due to COVID and you can learn more. Um, you know, we talk about where the town office complex is, um, you know, we'll talk about the selectman's sure. office, for instance, uh, town clerk's <laughs> office and all the key contacts there, sometimes with quick links to like look up online ran land records or other um, handy things like that. So all of that information can be found here. Um, we also have a boards and committees page as well, which is another civic portion of the site. First, and since Cornwall has such a volunteering culture and a lot of people step up to run different things, we talk a lot about how, uh, how rewarding volunteering can be in Cornwall, especially on some of these local boards and committees. We talk about how Cornwall works and um, uh, in this great video here. And then we will go through and we'll, we'll list all the members like we did on the old site, you know, of all the different um, current uh, committees and boards and towns and things like that. So that's where all that information lives. We also have built a town directory, which is kind of a new thing on the civic portion of the website. And so the idea here was to just find, was basically just a build a spot where all the key contacts are for the town and things like that to be able to find it quickly. So you can see, you know, town clerk's office, land use, um, even things like, um, you know, the highway department, um, Torrington area health. We've got like regional and emergency services listed here too. Um, schools and education, uh, even the post offices as well. So that was the idea was to try to build uh, comprehensive kind of digital directory of like quick contacts that you need uh, around town here. Uh, minutes and agendas. Now this is the section, the civic portion of the website, which has all of the minutes and agendas from the various uh, boards and committees um, here in yeah. town. So say for instance, I wanted to check out some recent minutes and agendas from the West Cornwall sewer septic group. You would navigate there and basically you could see all the latest stuff. Like here was the minutes right here from the um, last meeting, which you can download in PDF format. You know, we've got uh, other minutes that have been posted. We've got archives of all of the past um, meetings and uh, key documents. And we've even got a page that actually has like some of these key group uh, documents like the engineering report and the environmental report as well and things like that. So. Um, some of the committees do it a little bit differently um, when it comes to this. Um, some of the committees will post directly on the website. There's others like the Board of Education, which use Google Drive. So in that case, we would just link basically to the Google Drive page for the Board of Ed. Um, town regulations is a great place to, you know, uh, go and read up on the zoning regulations or other kind of handy things in town. Like, you know, if I wanted to read the inland wetland regulations, you click download, it will load up the, the PDF, um, which we posted on behalf of the town there. Um, so that's where that um, type of information lives. Uh, we've got a page for the annual report, which a lot of people like to go in and to read. Losing it again. 
We've also created a new page um, for forms and documents in the civic portion of the website, which is just kind of a good place to house like a lot of key documents or forms or things like that. So, you know, we've got all the different town regulations here. We've got like key town forms, um, like the build, like a building permit, um, things like that. We've got um, other miscellaneous things like, you know, link to pay your taxes online to see the registrars of voters page, online dog license renewal, you know all those types of things and then we also uh, have like key town planning documents like for instance the 2020 plan for conservation and development so this is just a great place to have like a lot of these key town forms and uh, pieces of information kind of in one handy consolidated place um, public safety we built a page about public safety just kind of talking about you know the Cornwall Fire Department um, you know, if you're having an emergency, dial 911. We talk, we've got a uh, Connecticut State Police, um, our town emergency management Facebook page, even things like, you know, social services or, or animal control. So, uh, again, trying to be very help, as, as helpful as we can to, pro to try to provide good service to, to citizens. Um, and going with that, we actually have a whole page itself on help services, where we talk about helping is really the spirit of Cornwall, and that how we do have a really big thriving volunteer community that's really focused on providing services to those in need. So, you know, um, this was um, social services helped us build this, you know, where we talk about the different thing, places that the town and community can help like transportation, um, foods and supplies, um, the links to social services, uh, rent ass uh, assistance, um, things like that. So that's the, um, that's the civic portion of the website. So next we'll be moving into the community portion of the website, which is another um, great section. And so the community section of the website will have coming events. So this is a great place to go to kind of get the, the latest events going on in Cornwall. And this is also where the Cornwall calendar lives. You know, so you can see here, here's the intro to the new website. So you can hover over it and um, check it out on the calendar. You know, you can also click into it like this and you can actually see the, um, the event page. Um, it will even do a countdown, which is pretty cool for the event. You can post the Zoom link in here, you know, uh, embed videos, you can do all of that um, type of stuff. Um, with, you can also search for an event here. You can list it in a different way too. If you wanna see like more of a list of the upcoming events, you can do it like that. You can do like a day view of it as well, where you can go to the next uh, day. You can also export this calendar as well. So. You know, if you use um, uh, Google um, Calendar or if you use Outlook or something like that, um, or iCal, there is actually the ability to be able to export the calendar right onto your calendar um, if you want to do that. So that's a great option um, as well. Um, Cornwall News is the next section for community here. So the Cornwall News is going to show you, uh, again, all of the recent community news. It's got a great sidebar here over on the right that will show you the uh, another view of the calendar so you know what's going on. You can see the different categories, all the archives that we have from over the years. Um, also here you can see uh, town news and notices as well. Um, so you can see what's uh, going on there. So this is uh, a good kind of place to come for all, for anything kind of Cornwall uh, news related. Um, we also have a page that talks about the Cornwall Chronicle because it is such a great, um, you know, me, uh, it is such a great uh, publication for a town like ours. So, you know, we'll, we'll uh, link to their site so you can go read the latest issue, um, which is great. Um, Let's see, we have a page that talks about the, Corn the Cornwall Community Network on Groups IO and how it's a great place, you know, for public dialogue and discussion. And we have the link and show you, you know, how to join it, which is um, great. We have the Cornwall Classified, which is a great place that any resident in town or the surrounding area can list uh, any goods or services, you know, that they want to sell or anything like that. So, um, so we have that. And uh, as you can see, here's the latest listings. We have different categories like free stuff. Like if anyone wants a free um, uh, cockatiel, it looks like there's one available um, here. And we'd have the contact information. 
A uh, couple things with the with this, um, you can a great feature is you can actually add a new listing, um, which is easy to do. You just click the submit listing button, you fill in your information, uh, and then we would get an email just letting us know that um, that the new classified uh, ad has been submitted. Uh, we also um, do caution anyone uh, about the possibilities for fraud, you know, with anything like this, a classified. So just be aware of any suspicious offers or anything like that with this. Um, and yeah, have fun. This is a, this is a great section of the site and um, there are a lot of good stuff can get has been posted here over the years. Okay, so we've got um, Cornwall. We also have a page about um, community and school. So, you know, we talk about CCS. Um, we've got a Cornwall, we talk about the Child Center and then even like regional schools like, um, you know, Housatonic Valley um, High. Um, we've got a page here in community that talks about libraries and churches. So, you know, we'll have a key alerts um, as well. Um, we'll talk about the Cornwall Library. You know, we've got the hours posted here. Uh, a link to their website. Uh, we even have done things like um, we can even feature like their current exhibit that they're doing. Um, we have all of, you know, we've got the Hughes Memorial. We've got all of the different um, churches in town with links to their website. So this is a fun page. Um, Parks and Recreation. Um, this is uh, talking about Cornwall Park and Rec, which is a great um, committee in town and uh, the opportunity to go visit their website because they have their own um, separate website, which is great. Um, we've got uh, a page here about local nonprofits where we talk about like a lot of the local nonprofits and um, organizations in town, you know, from the fire department to the Cornwall Association, um, to the Child Care Center, Conservation Committee, um, Housing, Cornwall Internet Committee, um, all those. Uh, we've also got a couple of other links, like a link to the relocation guide to go to the EDC website. Okay, explore. Now, this is one of the sections I'm the most excited about, and this was this was really focused on building a building a real visitors portal into our site. So, if you click explore up here, um, we've got some great imagery, and um, we've got kind of all of the different. Um, things to explore in Cornwall from, you know, the covered bridge to Cornwall by season, um, everything like that. So uh, first we've got shop Cornwall and this is, um, has basically all the different places, you know, that you can shop here in town with um, write-ups, links to the website, um, maps of uh, where these um, great local businesses are. So this is a great page, especially if you want to shop Cornwall. We've got a really key p uh, page here on the covered bridge, um, which has been a fan favorite here. Um, you know, our town is very well known for this, and uh, this is definitely going to draw a lot of people to this website to check this out. So um, we talk about the history of the bridge. We give people the opportunity to <laughs> share it. We've got a great drone video here that you can, you know, you can zoom in and really kind of check things out, which is great. Um, we talk about visiting the bridge and we welcome people to visit the bridge. We show where it is. We talk about relevant things like how the bend is open, which provides parking and river access. And we've got that mapped out there. Uh, we also feature local businesses in West Cornwall too, um, which is another great thing to do for a page like this. We've also got a bridge gallery of all the great pictures over the years. Then we have like a call to action, for instance, check out, you know, the Trinity Riverside Trail, for instance, which is a great uh, trail right around there. Um, that's a great hike. Um, we've got uh, Cornwall by season, and this is really, you know, from the marketing perspective on the site, Cornwall has a lot of great assets we can build on, and we really do have um, four season activities, and it's a real recreational destination for that. So that's what this page is talking about, you know, everything from, you know, the breathtaking fall foliage to skiing, you know, Cornwall really does bring out there's a lot, each season really does kind of bring out a lot of beauty in Cornwall. So we've got winter, we talk about Mohawk and how that's the largest ski area in the state. Um, we talk about, you know, hiking, um, lake and river in the summer, um, fall colors, um, things like that. Uh, we have a section um, or a page here about, you know, eating and, and drinking in Cornwall. 
So, you know, we've got all the key businesses featured here, you know, the, the country market with a map and the link to their website, you know, all the places to eat, the package store. Um, we've got a page on where to stay, which has all the key places to, to stay, you know, like the Cornwall in here with the link to the website, um, you know, the hitching post, um, all the places that you can stay. Uh, the take a hike page is one of my personal favorites and um, being an avid explorer of Cornwall, um, you know, we, we, we went through great lengths to really build a fantastic uh, take a hike page because we do have a lot of um, miles of scenic trails to discover. So, you know, we'll talk about like a lot of the top rated local hikes like Pine Knob Loop, which is probably one of the most popular in this area. We've got a, uh, we've got a great link here to all trails, which will, if you click into this, will actually provide you a full interactive um, map um, and things like that, where you can see the terrain view of the, uh, of the different loops, which is neat. We're gonna talk about the ET and how, um, you know, the ET passes through the area. And we've also got like a lot of the key hikes kind of um, pinned and mapped out as well, like Cornwall Bridge to, to Kent via the river is a great hike. Uh, West Cornwall, the Falls Village, which is uh, quite, a, quite an intense and steep one, but it's a, it's a great one. Um, then we talk about like the Blue Blaze Trail, the Mohawk Trail, uh, which we all know really well. Um, you know, we'll have Cathedral Pines. Cathedral Pines to the summit of Mohawk's a great hike, so we've got that one. Um, Trinity Riverside, um, all the big trails around. Um, Gold's Pines, which actually has uh, a couple of the tallest trees uh, in the state. So that's always a fun adventure. So yeah, this is a great page. I uh, really like building that one. Um, river and Lake. Now this is a page where we primarily focus on the river, but um, certainly we have a great lake um, culture here in Cornwall too. So River and Lake, it's, we're going to talk about the Housatonic River and uh, our section of uh, Cornwall really does have a very unique section of the Housatonic too, you know, with all the rapids and the geology. So it's a really fascinating part of the overall Housatonic. You know, we'll talk about fishing and the activities, hiking is really popular, um, paddling, We'll feature uh, river related businesses here like Clark Outdoors, Housatonic River Outfitters. And then we also have a section about Cream Hill Lake where we talk about, you know, Cream Hill Lake and how it's really been a local um, swimming destination for generations in Cornwall. We talk about the town beach and how it's open to all residents during the summer months. And then we also uh, touch on the Cream Hill um, Lake Association, you know, affectionately known as the club side as well. So. Um, great page there. Um, that was a fun one to build. Uh, we also have a par uh, page on parks and preserves, which is related to hiking in Cornwall, but has some some key differences. So here we're going to talk. We're going to lead with um, Mohawk State Forest. Talk about the state forest, um, the different activities that are available there. Uh, some of the key points of interest, like the Black Spruce Bog, which is really neat to check out. Obviously, the Cunningham Tower, the summit. And then things like Red Mountain, where a lot of people don't know about Red Mountain, and it's almost just as tall as the Mohawk Summit, and it's part of the state park. It's just on the other side of the road um, by my neck of the woods. Uh, Mohawk Pond, we'll talk about that. Um, then we'll also talk about the meadows, um, you know, Housatonic Meadows State Park. We'll show where the park office and the campground is. We'll talk about, you know, the meadows, which is the you know, the, the section um, by the gas station in Sharon, where, you know, people will often kind of stop and picnic or just check out the river. So that's a great place as part of your Cornwall um, journey to go. Uh, we'll talk about Pine Knob Loop. And then we'll also talk about some of the different nature preserves in town, like Cathedral Pines. And then we'll also talk about how the Cornwall Conservation Trust has a lot of the other great public uh, preserves you can visit on their website too, if you wanna learn more about some of the more kind of like hyper-local type of um, places to explore. Uh, we've got a page on running and races because Cornwall is a great place to like run, walk, or explore. We've got like a lot of steep hills and a lot of winding valleys. So uh, we do have our big run and wag 5K race in town uh, every year, which is a big part of bringing uh, road racing back to Cornwall. So we've got a link to the website for that. Um, you know, just a nice picture. Cycling in Cornwall. I've been working with Terry and Raymond quite a bit on this one. This has been a really fun one too because um, – Cornwall does have a lot of great lightly trafficked and small quiet roads, you know, to explore and, 
and to tour on a bike. So we've been building out like a lot of the top Cornwall cycling routes um, out there too. Um, some of these are some are, are great. Some of these climbs um, and then some like more easier loops like around the village. Um, we also have our Cornwall Cycling Ambassadors too, which is uh, really neat because if you're new to town or you want to learn more about, you know, the scene, we have our ambassadors here. Um, I've built a page on Cornwall and Hawaii since we do have quite a bit of sojourners that will come, you know, from, from Hawaii to come check out uh, some of the different Obakaya places. So another fun page here about exploring uh, that portion of it. Often, you know, the, the sojourn will start at Cornwall Village, the site of the original, the original foreign mission school, and then uh, we'll often uh, end up at the Cornwall Cemetery. Um, and we've also got that mapped out as well. All right, history and culture. So this is a really fun section of the site. And uh, this is going to have everything from like quick Cornwall facts, which is kind of like our, our own kind of like Wikipedia version of um, Cornwall to really introduce people to town. And we're still kind of working on building more of this out. But, you know, um, we're going to talk about, you know, our history. We'll give you some quick demographics, uh, when we are incorporated, square mileage. We'll talk about our principal communities here in town. Um, we'll talk about some of the different uh, notable people, you know, like Ethan, Ethan and Iron Allen, General Sedgwick. We'll show a map of the town, you know, have a great quote about Cornwall. So this is something we're still going to continue to enhance, but it's already a great start. We have a brief history of Cornwall, and this kind of just gives a brief history of Cornwall. And it also provides a link to our own historical society and also some great information on ConnecticutHistory.org, you know, about Cornwall, which is another good resource. Um, we have the people of Cornwall, which is one of my favorite spots of this site, because this really kind of chronicles the lives of people in Cornwall in both past and present. Uh, this really captures Cornwall and, and tells the story of our um, people. So you, you can see we've got all of the uh, different people of Cornwall. Um, you can see uh, Marion Blake right here, who is uh, very well known, you know, around town. And you can download the PDF or the document to to read uh, to read that so that's how that section works and I uh, really like this section of the site it's amazing um, okay so arts and artists this we have a thriving arts and uh, cultural scene here in Cornwall. So we really wanted to embody that with this page, you know, where we talk about how Cornwall does have such a great scene. We're gonna show like, you know, the art galleries and the places where works are displayed, like, you know, the Cornwall Library, some of the big shows every year, like Art at the Dump or the Rose All Grant show. We're also gonna show other kinds of galleries where art, where our Rick is displayed um, as well here, which is great. Um, and then we have our artists of Cornwall. You know, Cornwall's long been a haven for artists and writers and other intellectuals. And that's really what we, this is the story we really want to tell on this page and some of the other ones in this art, art uh, history and culture section. So uh, we have all of our uh, artists here and links to their website. Um, if you're an artist in town and you want us to uh, submit a picture like some of these other ones, we just uh, shoot us an email. Uh, and we can get those posted. We've also got a call to action here to get added as a Cornwall artist. And one of my favorite sections is we have an in uh, memoriam section of all of our um, great artists in the past too, uh, which is a great tribute to art in Cornwall, like Mark Samant, James Thurber, William uh, uh, Ward Beecher, you know, Hendon Chubb, Kurt Hansen, Ruth Gannett, you know, all of those all the great people that have really helped build the scene over the years. Um, we have a section now for Cornwall authors. So um, here you'll have our current authors here in town with links to their website. We also have a memoriam for, you know, people like Mark Van Doren, uh, really one of the true folk heroes of Cornwall. Um, Wallace Stevens, um, people like that, which is, is great. We have built a new page all about agriculture in, his, in Cornwall. Because agriculture has played such a pivotal role, um, that and the, especially the early iron industry is really pay, played such a pivotal role in Cornwall in our history. Uh, we thought building a page talking a lot about our agriculture and our heritage was really important. So here we're talking everything from our farming roots in the colonial era to the iron exodus where you know the iron industry faded away and, and agriculture continued to flourish. 
We're going to talk about the Cream Hill Agricultural School, which is perhaps one of the very first schools like this in the country, which is a really cool story. Uh, we talk about how in the 20th century, it really became a lot of considered Connecticut's dairy land because there was a huge rise in, especially in dairy producers um, in town. We talk about like a lot of the historic dairy barns that still live on today. In fact, there's over 89 of them um, in town. And there's a great link to the historical website that, that pins a lot of these and shows where they are, which is cool. Then we talk about the farms of Cornwall and how farming today still really uh, is a key aspect and a key part of Cornwall uh, with the ability to learn more, to learn more about our, our thriving uh, farmers markets. Uh, we've got a link here to the Historical Society, um, just talking about the Historical Society and giving a link to the website. Um, so that's the history and the culture section. And, you know, we're always working on enhancing the site. Uh, I've, I know I've got ideas in our committee and I'm sure the public has ideas of new pages we could add in the future. And we're very open, obviously, to any feedback for anything like this. All right, business. Now, business is the next key uh, section of the website. And this is going to be focused on things like our business directory, uh, starting a business, shopping Cornwall, the different farms, food and drink, some of the different categories of, of business. So uh, we went with pretty much the best um, solution out there today for something like this when it comes to having an interactive business directory. You can submit a new listing if you're a new business or you can just contact us and we can add it for you. Uh, you can search by keywords. So if I wanna search for a business I know or something like that, you, know, you can uh, search for here. And, and find it very quickly. Um, you can bookmark a business if you want. You can also uh, search by location. You can even search by radius if you want. Um, it's all easy to do. Probably the best thing to do would be to drill into the category is usually what we recommend because we have a lot of different categories based on what your interests could be. We're also gonna show um, you know, a map and we'd have all the listings. So you know, say I wanted to go to let's see here, uh, agriculture and farm. You know, you could go here and basically you would see on the map basically all the different um, agriculture and farm places like um, there, there's R&D, uh, calf, calf and clover creamery. And you can also go down here and you can see all the listings themselves. Uh, you can filter it by, you know, there's different ways you can view this. You know, you can click into this for instance and uh, you can see the whole um, you can see the whole profile about the business. You know what their tag does, where their address is. Um, is there a they, way you can uh, click on the picture and it goes right to the website? What you can do is you you can click on the picture and it will go. Let's see, it will go to the picture, but you can the website usually the link would live right here. Um, we could probably code it. So it could, you click the picture, go right to the website if we want to do it that way as well. So, you know, we do have a lot of flexibility. You know, if this is pinned on, if it's a business that's pinned on the map, you can actually search for the um, directions for the business using Google and stuff like that. So, you know, we make it really easy to be able to find and connect with the different um, businesses in town. You can submit a new listing. As I mentioned, you can print this. You can add a bookmark. You can even save the listing and download it as a PDF as you want. So pretty powerful software here when it comes to the business directory. We really tried to make it as interactive as possible. Um, let's see, so we, we have other pages like I showed like Shop Cornwall. Uh, we have a page about the different, uh, about our farmers markets and you know when they run and links to their website, economic development. Uh, the last section of the website is how do I? Now, how do I is basically, you know, we've looked at the Google Analytics of the site over the of the old site over the years, and it's allowed us to come up with like a lot of actionable data about different ideas. Like, for instance, a lot of people came to come to the site to, to go to the learn about the transfer station and, you know, to get the hours and the number to that. So how do I is a great section where, you know, we try to answer like a lot of the most common questions. Um, you know, how do I contact the webmaster? Um, how do I submit an event? How do I add a classified? How do I pay my taxes online? You know, how do I use the transfer station? Transfer station is a very popular page. So we, we've done a lot to build that where we have the latest, you know, COVID-19 update in terms of the protocols. We talk about as affectionately known as the dump. Um, 
we've got the hours, you know, new to Cornwall, uh, obtain the transfer, uh, the sticker from the attendance. We're going to show where it is. We'll talk about, you know, the different recycling uh, regulations and things like that. So if anyone has any ideas for any how, how do I's, we're definitely uh, open to that as we continue to add more. Recently, we've had a couple of people that wanted to find the link to pay their taxes online. So we added that uh, right here um, to be able to do that. Another thing to be aware of uh, when it comes to the site is the search capability. Now this uses basically the most powerful search engine that you can use for a site like this. So if you're ever having trouble finding anything, search can often be a very um, good tool for something like this too. So if I'm gonna search say for a, you know, I wanna search for a, you know, regulation or something like that. Um, it's really easy to be able to, uh, to, find, to find things like this, even as you type like town regulations, or if I wanna find a, a business for instance, you know, that's really easy to do um, as well here. Um, so yeah, the search is super powerful. It will basically crawl the whole, um, it'll crawl the whole site and, and find what it can find, um, you know, across events, across posts on the site and really anything, it will, it will crawl the site very nicely. So, you know, if you're ever looking for any key contacts or trying to find a regulation or information on a group or a committee, search can often be a very good place to go as well. Um, and that's really kind of going through, I guess, a lot of the key functionality and kind of all of the key um, pages of the site. We've also got a page about us if you want to learn more about us and kind of what we do. We even have a picture uh, circa 2001 here of some of the original founding members and, and luminaries of our group as well. So um, uh, check that out as well. So I think that's kind of what I wanted to do today in terms of just trying to show all the features of this site, trying to provide a demo uh, of the site. So at this point, uh, we'd like to open it up for any questions, thoughts, feedback. We're very open to, to any ideas to continue to refine the site and to make it better as we go, so. Is it possible we could take the magnifying glass that's on the next to the government and put search website next to it? for yeah. some of those people that aren't that familiar. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Uh, indicating uh, writing search there, I think is a good idea to, to make it more prominent so people understand how to search better on the site. And so if it's possi possible, we could go to weather in Cornwall instead of just clouds, because a lot of people don't, it's hidden up there and you don't know, you know, could it say weather in Cornwall and then go back to uh, weather underground that used to be uh, what we had before. Yeah, we've still been working through the weather, you know, as you know, as, as our committee, and we've got some stuff still kind of in beta, but I agree, there's still a lot we can do to continue to enhance the weather portion of it. And I think that'd be a great conversation for us at our next uh, committee meeting as well. So thanks for that. Rocco, uh, one question here. Um, if say, once it gets to nice cycling weather, I decide I'd like to go for a cycle this coming weekend, uh, would I, uh, to get people to come along with me or to offer them to take them around, you know, with me for a bike ride, would I then use events and just put it up like next Saturday, if you want to join me 10 o'clock at West Cornwall, would that be the place where I would put that out? Yeah, so for an event or a meetup like that, um, that would uh, generally be the best place to do it. So you can just go to how do I uh, add an event and, you know, you add the title, the description, the date and the time, you know, where it's going to be. You can even upload an image too, um, which okay. will help get people's attention. So it's all pretty straightforward to do. And as admins of the site, we'll get an email when, you, when someone submits an event and then we'll just go in quickly and publish and publish it. Great, thank you. Yep. All right, so any other thoughts or feedback today? I think it's been hopefully productive on um, terms of just trying to go over like a lot of the new features and a lot of the new pages of the site. Uh, Terrific I, demonstration. It was, a wonderful, I, it was a wonderful demonstration. I posed three questions in the chat. Um, oh, okay. Uh, Sorry one, about that. One is, um, the first one is please describe how someone would find this. Is this linked to CT visit or this, which is the state catalog of towns? And what is the strategy for reaching out of town with this? 
Sure. Yeah, I'd be happy to answer that. Um, you know, when it comes to having a digital presence, like for a website like this, uh, as you referenced, there's different channels basically that we can uh, we can focus on uh, when it comes to driving traffic and people to the site. Uh, and you know, these days the biggest channel for that is going to be uh, organic search using Google, and that's what currently drives the most um, you know activity and traffic to our site. But also, as you referenced, there's other channels too, like getting the webs like having other webs uh, websites like the state of Connecticut to link to our website and other things like that so we have been focused on trying to get uh, more backlinks um, to the new website across some of these other regional and uh, town channels um, and then also to Google search uh, especially uh, what we call search engine optimization which is re which basically revolves around uh, the methodologies that you would use uh, using the Google algorithm or what we call rank brain basically to to rank well for a lot of these key terms like cornwall connecticut cornwall ct the covered bridge things like that and my my second question was can we have a section that supports that we are the greenest town which describes our efforts such as the sustainable ct actions and awards our land conservation um, efforts are solar installations and all our um, renewable energy efforts, um, et cetera, et cetera. We've done so much in the sustainable realm. Yeah, I think that's a great idea uh, for a new page that really focuses on Cornwall and, and you know being a green town and sustainability. So I think that's great, uh, Catherine. And, and if you want to work with us on that to help pull some of that stuff together, because I think you're pretty involved in, in that, it would be really, really helpful for us. Thank you. And, and, yeah. my, and my third question is that um, in, in touring some of the groups like the Conservation um, Trust, the uh, Conservation Commission, they're all generating all kinds of maps that can be grouped or can be combined. Uh -huh. And that's a, that's a whole separate project. But something that, for instance, shows people where are the best views, which is what the natural, what the uh, Conservation Commission is working on. Where are the best uh, trails, which is the what the Conservation Trust is working on. Where are the best um, uh, tourist sites, which is what the EDC is working on. These are all, this is all a combining of maps project, but uh, people are working separately right now. I think it should be combined. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Kind of a whole unified map of Cornwall and kind of all of the different features and destinations and in places in our town uh, in kind of one place. I think that's a that's a great idea. And that could very well be kind of what some of the next uh, generation, you know, of, of some of these pages looks like to try to bring that all, all together. So I think that's a, a great idea. And I think that's something as a committee, we would definitely continue to, to work towards. Okay, well, those are my main comments. Um, thank you. It's, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> it's very flashy. So thank you. Yeah, the site's really been a labor of love. And, you know, Laszlo's images really help bring, bring uh, you know, things alive. So we're Is very it possible grateful. we could bring back the the page that had just the Michael Moshan's images right on the top. I mean, how do you go about doing that? And then you can't, you can't really do that feature. Okay. And who said that the town is one of the top town websites in Connecticut? Uh, that would be a good quote to find out who said that. Right. Yep. So I mean, when you look at what you consider the top website in the state, it certainly could be a subjective thing. With our press release sure. that we did in order to get attention and to have a good launch, we, we certainly did position this probably as one of the top town websites in the state, but certainly that is a subjective thing. And anyone is, is definitely open to their own ideas about it. But I would have to say in, in my professional experience and as a marketer and a web designer and also kind of looking what else is out there, this is, it, this, in my opinion, is probably one of the very top in the state, which is exciting. Excellent. So you said it. <laughs> yes. No, it, okay. It's definitely, I have seen a lot of town websites, Richard, and this is definitely among the, the very best, uh, without any question. 
Yeah, and because it was such a high quality end product and we took so much time to build this to build this right with a lot of time, that's another reason why it got so much press, you know, why we why the why it gets the article got published in the CT post and got syndicated across the state because it because it truly was, you know, it's it's something quite um revolutionary i would say uh compared to what some of the other towns are doing and very innovative so we, we certainly got a lot of attention because of that as well which is great um if i may also mention that um as a sustainable ct person it is extraordinary and i will definitely be submitting it i think you've recorded this so that i can submit this yeah, which i'll do um but um they have a that these sustainable CT things are presented to the Council of uh, Municipalities. And so being able to submit that to them will very much help other towns. So thank you very much for that service. Yeah, sure. It's been a great project and anything we can do uh, to improve the site. We're, we're definitely all ears. So All right, great. So anything else today? I'd like to thank everyone for their time on this uh, rainy Saturday morning, and I'm hoping the weather might shape up a little bit today. Marco, I, I think uh, I speak for everyone. You have done a fantastic job on the website. You know, I mean, it's just really, I, I love to look at it. I, I love the new look, uh, look of the site. You know, uh, it's, uh, you know, even for my wife, you know, it, it, it didn't take much to learn how to use the calendar, how to do the adding to it, and 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 uh, it, it's very usable. It's I'm still learning. But it, well, <laughs> you know, it could take some time, but it, it's, I think it worked out great, you know, so thank you so much. Yeah, sure. And, you know, we've got a great committee and, you know, it really took a team effort to, to get this off the ground and, you know, we couldn't be any happier with the results, so it's great. I would just like to add my thanks to Rocco for spending so much time and being so dedicated to creating this amazing website for Cornwall, which makes, uh, I think, everyone proud of our town and uh, will definitely attract many more people to our town. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Luis. Is there a way on the business uh, link? I mean, I was trying to deal with uh, when you go to the business page, it, it, it's not very user friendly for me. It's like you have to, why can't we bring it back the way it was where it just you scroll down and all through all these different businesses and then you click on their link. You know, I just wish that could be figured out somehow yeah i think uh richard that would be something that we would we could discuss more internally in, in our committee um yeah. definitely because you know we can definitely enhance the business directory um quite a bit going forward and we have all of the the tools to be able to do it uh pretty effectively so it, it's great okay all right well thanks everyone and have a good rest of your day thanks for your time thank you so much Marco. thank you, Marco. you too. Thank you. Take care, everyone.